Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are working on our submarine once again. We're probably actually going to work on that buoy thingamabobby today to make sure it actually floats. And then once we've done that, we'll see what else we can do. Let's get on with it. Okay, so let's quickly just move this thing into the middle. There we go, beautiful. And then we need to go to the back end and we need to make sure we can make this thing float. How are we gonna do that? I don't really know. I don't really know. I have no idea. Um, so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and mirror both sides. Okay, we're gonna work on the top piece as well. Beautiful. We're gonna do this around the outside of it. Yes, there we go. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom as well, and then we'll see if it floats. <laughs> that's that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just leave it pretty much like it is right now, uh, and and then we'll see what happens because I feel like this might float, and if it does float, that's good. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one, this one, and this one, and we're gonna put a weight on there. Uh, because the weight is gonna hold it down. I don't know whether a weight is too heavy for it though. The weight might be too heavy. I'm sure it's fine though. I'm sure it's completely fine. And also, if we want to, we could go ahead and make it a little bit longer, and that might work too. I don't know. We'll see. Also, because we are a civilian vehicle, vessel, we're gonna go ahead and paint it orange a little bit on the outside. There we go. Orange on this side, white on the top. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Beautiful. It's nicely colored. It's awesome. Right. Also, someone said that the um, the cameras were wrong. I don't think they are, but they might be. <laughs> so so I'll, uh, I'll have a little look at that. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and make this white, and we'll put a camera on here, because someone wanted to see the deck from the inside. And that is a fair point. That is a good thing to, to look at. So, so there you go. You've got a little camera right there. We'll go ahead and put you a little monitor in here as well, so you can see what you want to see. All right? Actually, you know what? We we'll might as well put two big monitors up there. Monitor! Here we go, we got two big old monitors. Oh, big little monitors. Or oh, oh, just monitors. Yeah, we could go ahead and shove them there. That's a good idea. We'll go ahead and logic that to there and there. So we've got power. And then we'll put this one... Um, I guess they both need to be turned on by the same thing this one is. That's okay, good. And we'll go ahead and give it some uh, thingy my bobby as well. There we go. So you'll be able to see that. That's good. We might as well have one pointing backwards as well from up here. Which we don't actually already have, which is interesting. We'll go ahead and put that like right here. There we go. Good. <laughs> there we go. Good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint it white because that looks a little bit better. Good. We'll go ahead and... Uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, they both need power as well. But for right now, we'll go ahead and connect this one to there. Give it some power. Here we go. Bam. Give this one some power as well. Bam. And we're good to go. That is... That is it. Yeah? I think that's it. Possibly. Okay. With that being said, though, um, I guess we should go give that a try and see what actually happens. Uh, I wish I could label these. I guess I probably could, but yeah, everything else seems fine. Someone said this one was connected to, um, to the, to the, I don't know, the downwards one, but this one is connected to the side, which is, is where it's supposed to be connected to. Yeah, that one's fine. All right. What else was I trying to do? Oh, we need to see if this buoy works. Yeah, we need a button. We need a button. Here we go. Uh, so if you're wondering what this button is going to do. This button is going to allow this to move out. We also need one that allows it to come in as well. Uh, we should probably put like a little computer onto this. But as of right now, we don't have the, the, the budget for that. We don't have a good enough budget. Okay, give them all thingamabobbies. That says lights, but this one's going to be lights instead. Here we go. Light. No. Light. There we go. Good. That one's lights. Because uh, we don't have any lights, do we? We don't have any lights. That is connected to the IR mode, though. So we'll, we'll change that in a second. Uh, but for right now, this one's going to be out, and the other one's going to be in. Okay, up and down. In this case, though, down is up and up is down. Uh, which doesn't make too much sense, I know. But um, bear with me on that one. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, get rid of this. There we go. Good. Where are the other ones that I need to get rid of? Because I think it's this one and this one. And do I need to get rid of this one as well? There we go. That's all. That's all good. Okay, awesome. Uh, so this one is, uh, out, and this one is in. I guess they should change the winch to be out and in, but that's okay. All right, spawn it in. We'll see if it works, and then if it does work, uh, that's great. If it doesn't work, ripperoni and pepperoni. Okay, here we go. We're going inside. Good job. Go down the stairs. Okay, run to the front. Um, there are a few plants and stuff in here, and fish do occasionally swim through as well. Uh, you need to do this. Okay, we're ready to go. Go ahead and turn on the monitors. Stop this thing from doing its thing. 
And off we go. We're sailing out into the ocean. Oh, I think it actually looks really nice. We're going to have to paint it a little bit different. I don't want it to just be white all the time, so we'll change it. But, yeah, I'm actually really liking it. Awesome. Right, okay. Now it's time to see if this actually moves outwards and inwards. So we're going to go ahead and press those buttons. Out. Oh, they don't have power. They, it actually doesn't have any power. Does it? Yeah, they don't have any power. Okay, interesting. Spawn it in again. Get back inside. Also, I'm kind of realizing that we do definitely need a clutch on this engine because, or these engines, because at the minute we continue go for, to go forwards if we actually are, or if our engines are on. But we want our engines to be on even when we're sat still. So we definitely need a clutch or something like that. Anyway, we're continuing out. This is obviously the front of the bow. This is the back. You can't really see much in this, so I might change that one a little bit. That is obviously the left side, and that one's the right side. And it's all working fine. That's all completely fine. That one's the sky, because it's pointing upwards. That one is the ocean bed, because it's pointing downwards. This, I don't know what this shows. Nothing. That doesn't show anything either. Okay, interesting. Uh, now we need to do this. And then we need to go ahead and open up the doors. So that this should be filling with water now. Indeed it is. Okay, awesome. And then we need to dive. Okay, here we go. We're diving. We're diving. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I'd love for a siren. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going to die. Oh, it doesn't float enough. All right, okay, okay. Well, that was the test. That's what we were testing. Um, oh, It's going to be difficult to know whether whether we're good or not with this. Ah. Ah. Okay, I feel like it might just be down to these. So we're going to go ahead and delete these two. Uh, we will also delete this one as well. And uh, we'll leave on the other one. Because I feel like it might work. Uh, no, let's just get rid of it for now. We need it to float. So we'll see if it floats. Good. Uh, we need it to paint, uh, get painted as well. There we go. We'll paint all of these feet, these things because they need painting. There we go. Uh, right, spawn it again. We're going to try ex the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, let's do it. A few of you guys were mentioning some sort of logic where we could sort of, I don't know, see our depth and then the, the winch would sort of scale to it. Um, that would be a good idea, but um, for right now, I kind of feel like we should just let the winch all the way out and everything will be fine anyway. There we go. Out. Beautiful. We're throttled up. We're go going forwards. Okay, we should start diving. And uh, we should actually dive. Here we go. We're going down. Going down. We just need to see if it floats, to be fair. We could just push it off the side. Uh, but I prefer to see it in actual action. So as soon as the water hits it, we don't want the air vent to go under the water. We want it to flip up like it has. Wait, it should have air. How has it not got air? Oh, now it's under. Now it's above. <laughs> okay, right, this is interesting. Um, it's not as buoyant as I need it to be. Definitely not as buoyant as I need it to be. But it's still not actually working. Like... It should be working now. But it's not. Uh. Why? Why isn't it working? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we do need it to be a little bit more buoyant. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. And, um. I guess get rid of the side pieces and the bottom pieces too. We're going to make it a little bit wider. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this on the top for now. Okay, that makes it okay. That makes it fine. We're then going to go ahead and branch it out sideways just a little bit like this. We're going to then branch these outwards as well. All right, go ahead and do the same down here as well. Okay, block those ones off. In fact, actually, we should go out one backwards. There we go, like this. Go ahead and delete that. Put that there instead. Okie dokie. Okie dokie indeed a Rooney. All right, go ahead and block that one off as well. And we need to bring these ones inwards. Delete these. Go ahead and put this on. Bam, bam. And then do the same on the other side. Bam, bam. Good. All right. That might float now. <laughs> so maybe. That might float. Uh, I do want it to be a little bit better, though. See, the problem that I've got, or the tiny little problem that I've got, is that I don't have enough room to build here. I can't move the end of the winch uh, in order to actually build this better. And I can't move the deck of the, the actual submarine. So... We gotta work with what room we've got, and this is the room we've got. Not very much. Um, I'm dealing with it though. I'm trying to deal with it at least. I don't even know if that's waterproof. If that makes sense. I don't even know if the connector to it is waterproof. We'll have to see. 
Okay, so without actually going into the boat this time, I've gone ahead and let the winch go out by itself. We're going to go ahead and push it into the water and see what it does. Okay, it sank. It sank. It's going back up to the surface. Is the winch wired too heavy, maybe? That's definitely not good enough. Definitely not. Oh, no, it's still bobbing under. It's still bobbing under. I was thinking that this thing might need to be quite large, uh, and, and I'm kind of getting that feeling now. Uh, I just don't know how to make it make it float good enough. I feel like it is getting blocked by this, possibly. But maybe not. Maybe not. We can make it a lot longer, I suppose. If we wanted to, we can make it longer. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so I've deleted the front bit. We're also going to delete this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a pipe on here, which is going to be a straight pipe enclosed. Okay, so that blocks off that if it actually lets water in. All right, and then we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go mental. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Bam! There we go. Good. We're gonna go ahead and put these pieces on, make it look pretty and stuff. Good. We're gonna do all of this. We're gonna go underneath and do all of this bit as well. Turn it around. Bring it this way. Good. Delete that and that. Awesome sauce. We need to put these pieces in. Bam. Okay. Beautiful. We need to put them in this one as well. Come on, put them in properly. Bam. Good. And then we need the um, fluid thing. Okay, which is this we probably also need that that oh, I don't know what it's called What is it called filter? Is it a filter? Is that, what, is that what they call it in this game filter? Yes, okay. We need a filter good. That's gonna go in here like so I don't think it matters which way around it goes I'm not entirely sure though gonna be honest. Okay, and then we disallow everything except from air Bam good, and then we connect them together via a pipe and That should go like this. Okay. Maybe we need a pump to actually pump it down as well. Let's put a pump in here. It's probably a good idea, right? Here we go. Pump. One pump coming in. There we go. I don't know which one's in, which one's out, so we need to check. That one's out. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Turn it around. It might need a battery. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many things that it might need. Uh, a battery. We're going to go ahead and shove that. Uh, can it go on the outside? I'm sure it's probably allowed to go on the outside, so I'm going to put it there. Okay, logic it. Logic this to there. Good. Uh, and I guess that should pretty much automatically be on, but I don't know whether we can send signals from from inside the ship. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Good. So that's on button four. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. Okay, spawn it in. There we go. Uh, it automatically unspills itself because I told it to. And then we'll see if this sausage floats. And then, realistically, we could put it on the side or on the top. And that would be fine. Okay, put it in. Put it in the water. Probably not good enough. Probably. Oh, actually, you know what? It's not even floating. <laughs> it's full of water because I didn't close off the ends. There we go. All right, you ready? You ready this time? All right, push it in. Go. There we go. I fell into, but that's okay. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought because the thing isn't very big. Ah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna see if that works. We'll just try it. All right, trying to start the engine. Let's go No, it's not working. It is we are I mean we are going forwards, but where's the air? Where is the thing? There it is. I Don't think we're on I don't think that we're actually on we could go down to the engines and see what they're doing Like see how much air they're actually getting. That's a good idea. Oh, I can't get through. I've never actually uh, I've never actually implemented a button on this door for some reason. What is, what is my problem? What is my problem? All right, delete this. We need a button, please. Just uh, a toggle button will do, actually. Let's go ahead and put a toggle button in. Like this. Good. And uh, one here as well. Yes. Good. Bam. Go ahead and connect those together. So that connects to there. That connects to there. And that connects to there? Question mark. All right, good. Go ahead and connect these two together. Connect them to the battery. Awesome. So... With this, we could go ahead and put floaties on, okay? These little things. We could go ahead and just shove one on each side. Uh, and that be our, like, our flotation device thing right there. And then we put the air intake on the top. 
and then it should be fine. Presumably, maybe, but it's not very aerodynamic on this side, so possibly not at the same time. Uh, we do need to make sure we've got... Can we actually... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're good. We're good. All right, let's try this again. Okay, it is actually working. We're driving, okay? It's not in the water yet, as you guys can see. But as soon as we dive, it will be in the water. I'm also going to stop letting that out because it's massive. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, that weighs a lot, having so much of it. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, right, let's start to dive. I've opened up the, d the doors, so we should start filling. All right, I'm going to go under. Here we go. Okay. It needs to float. Remember, it needs to float. It's floating. We're still working. We are still working. We are still working. We are underneath the water. Almost touching the bottom. We are fully underneath the water. We are we are submerged. We are fully submerged. Yes. We're still working. The engines are still running. As long as there's exhaust coming out, we are still working. Oh! <laughs> yes! Okay, dive down a bit. Dive down! I think they're starting to die. I think they are starting to die. Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to die. Okay, but what is the reason? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can we do that? Do we turn it on again? Let's go see what the, the problem is. We can actually go down there now. So, presumably, they're not getting enough air. Okay? That is presumably what the problem is. Um, we might need to make the floaty a little bit different. Exhaust! Aha! Yes! It's still getting air! Oh, good! Good! Okay, exhaust. We just need to pump it out. That's okay. And actually, we could put a little winch on for the exhaust, but I don't think that's a good enough idea. So, we're going to go ahead and saw out the exhaust real quick. Where's the exhaust being pumped out? It's pumped out the side. Where's the exhaust? Okay, the exhaust is actually getting pumped out. Is this the exhaust? This is the exhaust. This one right here is the exhaust. Okay, good. So if we delete this and this, and then we put a pump on there. Okay, pump. Here we go. We can go ahead and shove a pump in there. Uh, does it fit? No, oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay, we're going to have to put a pump, like, in there. Is this out? No, the other way around. The other way around. Turn it around. There we go. Good. And then we're going to have to put, like, one of these on the outside. Uh, I'm sure the pump is going to work fine, but we're going to go ahead and box it off anyway. Just in case. Because if it doesn't work, uh, we got issues. We've definitely got issues. You guys did tell me about this problem. I didn't realize it was going to be this much of a problem, but I'm sure it's fine. I've only done it on one side. Of course I have. Of course I have. Okay, whenever the engine's on, we're going to go ahead and say that it's connected to... Uh, it needs to be connected to somewhere. What does 4 do? Yeah, we'll connect it to 4. That's the pump on this as well. All right, good. So whenever the engines are on, we're going to have to press 4, and that'll work fine. Uh, there is one over here. Wait, is there one over here? I, I have done it on both sides. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, connect this. And connect this. And then... I don't know how deep we're able to go with this. We might even need just just like a 100 meter winch. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see what happens. Alright, connect it to there. Let's go. If it becomes a problem that the exhaust can't be pumped out, we'll have to run the exhaust like in a big long line with a bunch of pumps. And then we'll see what happens then. But it might not be that much of a problem. We'll have to see. Uh, but the air... The air is working. Our little thing is working. Okay, lights. Monitors. We don't actually need the lights. They're not connected yet. Turn that off. Turn the engines on. Press three. Press four. Okay, we're going. We're going. It's running. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Our air buoy works. Aha, yes. Amazing. Okay, so now that we're actually going in a straight line and we're on the surface, let's go downstairs and see what the exhaust situation is like now. Uh, it does have a pump on, of course. Uh, I can't turn the pump off separately. And it's completely fine. Okay, we're 100% exhaust now. Brilliant. All right, we're going to go upstairs. Oh, someone said that we need a camera for the uh, engine room as well. I'll do that. That's a good idea. Anyway, for now, we're going to go ahead and start diving down. Here we go. Good idea, everybody. We're going to have to open up our uh, ballast tanks, too. They're they're open now. 
Okay, good. Let's have a little look, see how full they are. Not very, but they're opening. Fantastic. That is very good. We're going underneath the water. Oh, I'm so happy about this. I'm so, so happy. Our air has just fallen off, and it is leaving it in the sky. Good. Okay, we're, we are underneath the water. We are still working. Okay, I'm going to run to the back real quick and see what happens. I'll see what's going on. Open sesame, jump in. Go, 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 go. Exhaust is going from like 100 to, to less than 100, but we are still okay. We are still fine. Okay, still spluttering along. As we are towards the bottom of the ocean. Is it stopped working now? It stopped working now. I don't know how deep we are, but not very. Okay, we need more pumps for our exhaust. I don't know whether you can even do them in a big long line, but I'm sure you can. As for how balanced we are, we seem to go down a lot heavier at the front than the back, so we might need to change the ballast tank slightly so that uh, we have a little bit more weight in the back when that happens. Um, I guess we could just copy and paste the back, uh, the, the front of it to the back, and that'll make it look a little bit nicer. I don't know. We are resting on the seabed as well. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy, though, that the air, the air supply is fine uh, being on the top. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the waves to full. Okay. We are, we are fine at the bottom of the ocean. We're not going to get pushed around at all. However, our air supply is. Let's go see if our air is still getting to us. Yes. Our air is still getting here. It does flutter a little bit, but that's good. Yeah. Okay, I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, so we figured out our problem is the exhaust needs some pumps on it. Um, so the exhaust is going to have to go, like, I don't know, in a big long line. Uh, we could probably pump it around the back and then out the back, maybe. Uh, and that will give it enough room for a good few a few pumps. Probably a big pump. Maybe a few more big pumps. Uh, and we'll just push it through a few of them. And then we'll see how deep we can go with that. The problem is, though, that we also need a hell of a lot more pumps actually pumping out the water, too. Because at the minute, we've only got one pump that will actually empty the bilge. Uh, empty these. Uh, and that's probably not good enough. Probably. So we need to change that as well. Um, that is definitely easy to change. We'll go ahead and delete these as well. No longer necessary. We'll get rid of them. There we go. Our air supply is actually completely fine, contained, and working. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, we just need more pumps for the exhaust. That's okay. And we also need a camera for the, the, the engine room because someone asked for it, so we'll do it. Okay, camera. We're gonna actually use a normal camera. We're gonna put it right at the back, pointing forwards. And, uh, we'll see... We'll see what that does. I think it'll look good. Uh, okay. So that'll be on a camera button somewhere. Do, 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 do. Video. It needs to go to a monitor. Now, I'm thinking a little monitor up here in the middle would look good. So we'll go ahead and grab one of these. Put it in the middle. Flip it around. Bam. Okay, good. Put this all the way back to that camera back there. Awesome. That camera also needs some electricity too. Boop. There we go. And the monitor needs some electricity as well. Boop. There we go. I am, I am so happy with the way this is going so far. Um, there are a few things that keep breaking, but at the end of the day, we keep figuring them out as well. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. I don't know whether I should move this either, because it did seem that this bit was staying out of the water, and also this bit was staying out of the water, but I'm sure it's fine there. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I suppose one more quick note before we end. I might actually have to start using some electric engines on this uh, for deeper diving so we don't have to do all the exhaust stuff. However, at the same time, maybe we could just add a little winch and put the exhaust on that and have another one of those floating around at the top of the surface. I don't know. Well, <laughs> maybe we could actually put the exhaust... No, we can't run both exhaust and air through one winch, can we? Ah, if only we could. If only we could. <laughs>